This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Good morning and good evening. So today I will I'll discuss one of the interview question in from SAP GRC. Uh, what is approver delegation in SAP GRC? Okay, let us go to the details of this. First of all, to understand this topic, you need to understand the definition of delegate or delegation. So this is very common word which is used in day-to-day -day, um, conversation. Like you might have seen some in conferences when we go to any uh, when some international event is happening, you see a boards like welcoming people like welcome to delegates, right? So what is the delegate meaning there? A person sent or authorized to represent others. In particular, an elected representative sent to a conference. So means generally the politicians or elected representatives are busy. They cannot come to the conference or event. Instead, they send their subordinates like a secretary or a deputy. So that person is generally referred as a delegate. He is not. He is representing actual person in, in his place. So that person is called as a delegate. And that is only for that particular event only. Right. So only that is maybe a two day event or a three day event. He will be acting as that particular representative and he is called as a delegate. Now actual our definition from SAP point of view also if you look into that definition it is like entrusting entrust a, to another person typically one who is less senior than oneself as I told you it is always will be the deputy you will never delegate to a higher a person who is in higher in hierarchy it is always we delegate to uh, the people who are subordinate to us like the big as I told you deputy or the secretary it can can be the work can be delegated so here what is a task or a responsibility from SAP's GRC point of view in SAP GRC we have the concept of approvers there are different types of approvers in each and every component you talk about whether you talk about risk analysis emergency access management and brm business role management and arm access request management you find different types of approvers like risk owner role owners we find in brm managers we find in arm ffid owner we find them in eam concept so different components have different types of people acting as approvers in that particular areas and when these approvers are going on a leave when they go on leave that can be a short period or a long period so when they are going on a leave who will be doing his responsibilities who will be doing or who will be the replacement of his responsibilities who will take up the responsibilities of that person whoever is going on leave so this person generally uh, the general practice in uh, IT is like whenever you go uh, in your mail you mention like uh, please contact the so on so person XYZ person in presence of my absence and you will point out to that particular uh, area suppose if you have any issue in this area you you contact them the person X if you have issue in some other area you contact the person Y so in that way so here that is only a manual way so we are not actually delegating that they are, we are making a point of contact mention there in your out of office mails right but in GRC we have the concept of access request management the request will be sent to the approver for his approval when he is absent or when the use when the approver is absent the request will be lying there as long as he comes back till he comes back so in order to avoid such instances to avoid such instances where there could be taking a delay suppose if approver is going on a one week leave and request is coming to his inbox in his work inbox my home inbox in nwbc so that will be lying there almost for one week as again he has to come back from the leave and he has to approve the request so to avoid such delays they need to delegate the 
their roles and responsibilities in GRC point of view. Okay, so all these people, whoever is there, it is like a best practice they have to do. So whenever they are before going on a leave, they themselves can appoint a delegate within SAP GRC. And SAP has given that provision here. How that delegation is done? Okay, how that delegation is done? Self means if I am going on a leave, I can appoint my delegate on myself for myself. So where can I appoint this? So let us see in system now how to appoint a delegate for my ID. Okay, so this is under NWBC. This is our NWBC screen under my home. So this is where you will get the request generally. All approvers will get requests here, waiting for his approvals. So this work in box, we need to delegate. So that is what we are trying to see now. Okay, so here I'm going to my delegation as a my user ID here you can see my user ID is a GRC user one and then I'm going into approval delegation under my delegation I click on approval delegation. So this is a screen of approval delegation now currently no delegation i did not appoint anyone as delegation if i want to suppose if i'm going on a leave for one week so i come here i need to click on delegate so when i click on delegate system will ask me the details so let me delegated approver details so to means to whom i should i should delegate so that is what system is asking me so i am searching for the user id so all the users available in my system grc will be available suppose my id is grc user 1 i want to delegate to grc user 2 okay i am selecting that user id and then validity from so starting from next week so 15th monday onwards till I'm appointing till Friday 19th and the status is active. I'm defining it. Okay, save it now. So delegation approver information saved successfully. You can close this entry and now here one entry has been made. So this is my ID GRC user one. To whom we have delegated we have delegated to grc user 2 from which date to which date from 15 11 2021 to 19 11 2021 so what will happen when this is active like this so now all the requests that are being sent to user 1 will be sent to user 2 so this grc user 2 will have acts will have will receive the requests for approvals in his place in the place of grc user 1 all the requests will be diverted to grc user 2 so that is the advantage here so the request will not get stuck or the request will not uh, uh, wait for till that this person is coming for a coming back from the leave so he will be this person will be performing the duty grc user 2 from this date to this date right this is the self delegation means i myself i am delegating before i go and leave okay but sometimes I, I might forget to delegate my duties to somebody else so in that cases i cannot i am already on leave so i forgot to delegate then i can ask my grc team so grc team admin as admins they can delegate the duties they can delegate the duties how so under nwbc under access management access request administration under that admin delegation so as admin here in the my home the difference between my home approval delegation is 
I can appoint a delegation for my ID only. But in access access management admin delegation under access request administration admin delegation, I can appoint a delegation for any person. Okay, I can appoint delegation from any person for any person, not necessarily my ID. Suppose if GRC user three is going on a leave, so he he asked me he dropped he drafted a mail asking you can delegate all my tasks to GRC user four from which date to which date you can ask him in the same way and you can appoint here in the same manner save it so it has been done now so means uh, you can see total how many delegations are up. so this is the delegation which i did from my self id and this is the approver ad as an admin i did for another user called grc user 3 so this is basically the difference between the delegation self delegation and admin delegation so admin delegation means i can delegate one person to any other id okay now coming to the best practices some of the there is also misuse of this concept what i have observed in some of the uh, some of uh, my experience they are misusing this concept of delegation what do you mean misusing when i go to approve a delegation and see here he is appointing his subordinate for one year or two years of time so that is not the meaning of delegation so means he is escaping his duty as an approver and he is assigning all his duties to his delegate over he is assigning all his tasks to his subordinate for a period of one year or two years of time so if you see any long-term periods as a grc consultant you should suggest to them saying this is not the concept how it has been built or this is not the concept of making for so delegation is always for a short period of time okay there should be a proper valid reason why the person has is been delegating the actual duty is the this is my duty as approver i should approve it grc user one but when i am delegating to some person means i should have a valid reason why i am delegating i am going on a leave or I, I am in a hospitalization or something sort of some valid reason should be there if you are active and if you are in the office or you are active and coming to office or working then you should not have any delegation active so as a grc consultants we should always uh, take note of this okay so that's about uh, approval delegation concept so hope everyone is clear with this concept so we'll come up with uh, some other topic in next week right thanks everyone